Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, um, Sheikh, uh, yeah. I've noticed that there are certain people in life that they have no deen, no guidance, but they achieve extreme, like Fir'aun and Nimru, like they, they achieve amazing feats in this dunya. And it's based off of their ego. Like, and you, you talk about how the ego will take you through the sep, you know, sep, sep, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the way to, you know, Allah, almost, you know, like the journey, the whole night journey. And it's like, if this Barak, how does this Barak work for the Kafir who has no Hidayah, no guidance, and he's living foul, but he achieves like crazy, and it ain't even about the money, it's just about like, he's like, he has like some type of armor, like some type of command in the earth because of his ego, and they talk about manifesting. I don't necessarily believe in that, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> It's like these people, like, you know, they think they are Allah because they literally say they're going to do something and it occurs all through the power of their kun ego. Kun. Mm -hmm. I'll stop from yeah. <laughs> yeah, You know, but that's what it's like that. Mm -hmm. and? Um, so what is the power of the ego? That's the real question. Number one, Allah gives the power to the ego. The ego is not an independent, uh, self-created entity. Allah created the ego. Okay? And Allah has created the ego and has given it power to declare itself Lord in front of its Lord. Allah has created the spirit. There is nothing that is more powerful than the spirit other than Allah. Of course. Come to the point, let's say for example, here we're talking about spirit. Say, for example, the Holy Prophet, والسلام, he has a spirit that's coming from insan, and he has the power to command the archangels. Let's not get into what the insani Kamil can do. <coughs> People think that the ego is more powerful than the spirit. It's not true. The spirit is created, coming from Allah. The ego is not. It's created, but it's not coming from that. The spirit now has the power to be able to control the ego. If the spirit is controlling the ego, then that time the spirit's power can be unleashed, and the spirit in controlling the ego, the ego then can make it to rise to higher stations. So now, because we're concentrating on the ego a lot, don't ever think that the ego is more powerful than Allah. It's more powerful than the Prophet it's more powerful then your spirit. Yes, it is very powerful. But the ego is also not that smart. That's why Shaykh Effendi says, the Shaykh of the ego is shaitan. That's why some Ebliyas, they are saying, the ego but the ego is 70 times more powerful than shaitan, but shaitan is smarter than the ego. The ego by itself, it cannot do so much. The spirit can be able to control the ego much easier. If shaitan is not involved, if this dunya is not involved. You understand? Okay. So, 
How are we going to catch our ego? This is the point. Now we're talking very big. You catch your own ego by looking at the blind spots that we're talking about. Where am I losing? Where do I crash? Where do I fail? Where do I crash and fail? Where? You need to look at that. Sometimes it is what you do. Sometimes it is coming from the heart. It's not your actions, it is coming from the heart. Sometimes it is a bad action that you have done. And sometimes it is a bad intention that you have, a doubt. Between the two, what is inside is more powerful than what is outside. Yes? That you have to watch. Because what is the, <clears throat> the opposite of faith? Unfaith, but unfaith is coming from what? Doubt. It is a reality. Some are even saying that the Sahabis were speaking about that. Sahabi Kiram. It is to show how, yes, of course, they're on top of our heads. Yes, of course, they are the best in creation after the prophets. They achieve every highest level of sainthood, yes. But they were also human. And they have qualities. We also have qualities similar. The reason why we're able to take them is because we are similar. If they are completely different from us, we cannot follow. Saying one saying, what am I supposed to do with this thing that is in my heart? And the other one saying, you mean doubt? And he says, yes. Then he says, repeat after this, these ayats. Understand, Sahabi Kiram, they're not just repeating ayats. Eh? They are living that. Some of them see Hazrat Jibrail delivering. Some of them hear. Some of them feel. It is not an ayat. It is an experience. Coming with it, all the understanding. It says, repeat. And guess what? It's an ayat that we, as Nakshmani Nurits, repeat every day. For which uh, prayer? Anybody knows? No. Because you don't read, yeah, yeah. You don't try to find out or you don't ask. Ask. Answer is always there. So, <clears throat> May Allah make us to hold on tightly, inshallah. Amen. And make us to confront our enemies. Amen. And may Allah grant us victory, inshallah. Amen.